We're midway into season four, and for some of us, the content might be getting a little bit stale, but I do have an alternative for you. I recently have started my own new character over on EU Central and have been having an absolute blast leveling it and getting to see some of the early game parts of New World that maybe as a 65 you're going to forget or just haven't experienced for a while. So today I'm going to get into my top 5 reasons why I really enjoyed starting this new character and why I think it actually will be very beneficial for some of you out there. Before we fully get into today's video, I do just want to say if this video helps you out or if you just like it, please drop it a like. It really helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, including more build videos, loot videos, stuff like that, definitely subscribe to the channel so you know when those videos go up. I also stream throughout the week over on Twitch as well as YouTube, so definitely stop by a stream, say hello, lurk, anything like that. We'd love to have you. But let's get into today's video. All right, so to get us started with our video, we're going to start with the first reason why I think it's a great idea for everyone to start a new character. And like I said in the intro, it is mid-season content. Um, being that we know that mid-season is kind of a lull every single season because we get the hype over the beginning, everyone's working on their you know passes and everything, and then uh, we're kind of waiting for certain patches. We might get a couple you know mid-season patches that'll change things up. But a lot of us get to that point where it's like we're just waiting for that next season, waiting for the big patches or just certain changes to come in. And so we don't really know what to do with our time always. So that's where I decided to start this new character. I've been meeting a lot of people over on EU. And honestly, it's been really nice to have a new character and to go around and have this content that I don't need to worry about dailies. I don't need to worry about events or anything like that. I can just go and play the game and enjoy it. Now that does lead me into the second reason why I highly recommend starting a new character, and that is just the nostalgia of it. Now a lot of us have been 65 for quite some time now, or 60 prior to the expansion, and we haven't gone back and really gone back to the roots of New World as to why we liked it. Now some of us really enjoyed the PvP and you know, you're not going to get that at the early stages, but others really enjoyed the exploration side, the progression of trying to build a character, really get to know, uh, you know, what's what and trying to get your character, you know, built in a certain way that matches the play style or gameplay that you want out of it. So from a nostalgic reason, I really, really do enjoy it. I think it is a great reason for anyone to go back and to just have some fun looking at what you know, what the game was and why we actually love it and really how far it's come. Now that also then leads me into number three, which is the MSQ. Now the MSQ has changed quite a bit and I didn't even realize to what extent that it had changed because I haven't gone back and played any of it. Now, since I started this new character, I've gotten to experience a lot of the MSQ stuff and they are still working on it but it's been really fun. There's the soul trials, there's different quests, there's the ability to actually ha skip the uh, expeditions so then you can go a more solo route. There's just a lot that they added in that I honestly am really, really happy with. I think if I were a new player, I would just have all these different ideas of what's happening in the game. If you're really into questing, the quests seem great. I'm not a huge quester, as a lot of you know, but I gotta say, I do appreciate the hard work that they put into making the MSQ that much better, because even though I'm not big into questing and all of that, I do really, really appreciate the amount of work that they put into it, and for those who do enjoy questing, I think it's a really, really great change. I think, uh, you know, they really made it that much better for new players or for returning players or anyone in between that really just wants to you know, experience the quests, experience this new early game type of new world. And it is really, really fun. So I do highly recommend, especially those who are really into questing, go back, start a new character, an alt character, and just start questing and, and see what it's like. Because for those of you who really do enjoy the story and questing and all that, I think you will be very, very happy with the changes they've made. Now, for the fourth reason why I highly recommend a new character, this is going to be more aimed towards, you know, those who are really into transmog, and that is essentially that there are certain items that I've actually started pulling that I haven't seen before since transmog's come out because it hasn't touched my inventory. And there's some stuff that I didn't even know was in the game because there's so many different things you can transmog. I haven't, you know, I don't remember everything in the list that I do or don't have. 
And so it's really cool to see some of this stuff because even if I have seen it, um, I haven't seen it in so long that I didn't even know it was a thing. So there's been some new transmog items that I've actually found just because I'm running through some of these areas that typically I wouldn't be in, um, whether that's, you know, certain name stuff or certain stuff that drops by certain enemy types. But overall, it is a really, really fun way to just go out and potentially get more transmog items that you can later then transmog on your main account because all that transmog is account bound. So whenever you start a new character, you'll have all of your emotes, you'll have all of your transmogs and all of that stuff ready to go right then and there. Um, but as you accumulate more options for transmog, that also is gonna connect to your main account. So then from there, you can use those transmog tokens and unlock that for your main and any future characters that you wanna go into. All right, so now on to the fifth and last reason why I think this can be very valuable for a lot of players. And this is outside of those who are just there for the nostalgic reasons or questing but it is gold. Now, a while back, they released a patch that allowed you to create an alt character or a second character on your main server. So for me on Marama, I actually have two characters there. I just started a new one not too long ago uh, on top of my EU character as well. And essentially what you can do is utilize that new character to make gold. So what you're going to do is you're going to go out, you're going to be doing your MSQ farming, which is going to give you gold by itself. You'll be doing side quests, you'll be farming, all of that stuff. And if you don't care about your trade skills or don't care about some of that stuff, you can just sell everything. And when I mean sell everything, I mean absolutely everything other than maybe potions and stuff like that. And honestly, you can make a decent amount of gold because it's... It's amazing to me how much gold you get from the MSQ on top of the fact that if you're just running around, just kind of here and there farming stuff, grabbing loot, and then you go back to settlement and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I have all this stuff, fill buy orders, sell it, and all of a sudden, you know, you might be a thousand gold richer, which isn't a ton, but that does add up over time, especially when you add the MSQ gold on top of that. Now, the other big thing as far as gold making with a new character is craft mods. There are a lot of very, very expensive craft mods that actually drop in a lot of the beginner areas. It's just that a lot of people don't like to farm beginner areas for loot specifically. Now, I do have some future loot videos coming up that uh, I'll eventually release for some of the new more beginner areas so then those who do want to make some alt characters might be able to go and run loot runs even at you know as low as level 10 or something like that so then you could potentially use that for getting loot progression with that character and all of that so it's kind of beneficial for everyone even your main character at that point so if it were me making gold what i would do is make that alt character work through the msq work through some side quests try to farm up some stuff here and there. But the big thing, like I said, is those craft mods. You might be able to pull a craft mod that'll, you know, give you 10K or more. Uh, you just never know what you're going to find when you're out there, especially when you're running these beginner areas where you're not seeing many people. Now with that, uh, like I said, with the resources, you also might find some other places to farm, um, which in turn, you could then play with your main account go there, farm it up, make some gold as well. So there's a lot of different options that you can use this new character to make gold. And then from there, you can take that gold, either put it into a treasury within a company, or you can just trade it to someone that you trust and then they can trade it to your main account. So it is a way that you actually can get a little bit of gold. Um, it's not gonna you know, get rich quick type of a deal, but it's something where if you're enjoying that kind of early game experience, and then you just want to make some gold, but you don't really want to invest it into that character. That's where I would suggest making that alt on your main world, your main server. And then from there, you can decide what you're going to do with that gold, whether it's invested into the new character or invest it back into the old character. Starting this new character has been so much fun for me, and I've been having a great time really getting to know all of the new MSQ stuff and getting to try some of the side quests that maybe I didn't get to do as I originally leveled up my main character. And it's been so much fun that I really hope that some of you go out there, start an alt character, enjoy that early game of New World because it is something that is pretty easy to forget how fun it actually was to first explore the regions, to go out and farm, have all this progression to work towards within that character. 
And like I said, it does keep you entertained for kind of that mid-season lull where your main account, you might not be doing a whole lot on, but on an alt account, you can have all sorts of fun without having to worry about events or patches or anything like that. You can just go play the game for what it is. But that is going to do it for today's video. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.